Hello, and yes, I have now got round to record and edit my first proper F1 career on F1 2016 by Codemasters. This game reflects my true love for F1 and just um, a must-get game fact. So excited for the start of the opening 2017 season this weekend, so I am loving playing this game right now. So if that intro does not get you going for a Formula One, well, I don't know what will. Now coming up for you is the start of my career and you are forgiven on thinking. Well, where is the Australian Grand Prix? How could he have missed that? Well, the Australian Grand Prix was so bad, so bad in fact, that I had to leave it out. Left it out completely. All I have to say is 21st place. I aim to highlight the best races of my season unless otherwise. End of. And you might have caught the slide before of confirming that 21st place. It was horrific. I don't want to go there. My season starts in Bahrain and the build up. As you can see, oh, this just excites me to race. And here we go. Bahrain Grand Prix, it starts now. So now, with that hiccup out of the way, we go on to Bahrain, where I must admit this is one of my strongest tracks and I did not disappoint. Uh, the qualifying went really, really well um, to the fact it surprised me. I thought I was going to be okay and, well, it ended up being more than okay. It was fantastic. And with the knowledge that I have not ever seen my created self on this game, on the podium, was playing on my mind. And here are the qualifying one results. I put it on pole, could not believe that, and was hoping that this continued on the super softs. And into qualifying two, I topped the timing sheets again with Nico Rosberg obviously performing there and a little bit of jostling in places. And in qualifying three, um, there you go, on pole for the race with Lewis Houghton. So, a UK top two for the race on the front row of the grid. So here we go onto the race itself. And yes, I was overthinking the start. I was overthinking my emotions starting this race because I was telling myself, you know what? I have never seen my created character on the podium in a career on F1 2016. I wanted this so bad, I knew that Bahrain is one of my best chances to get on the podium. I could win the race, I didn't know what to think. Um, I was going into this race very positive. I thought, you know what, I'm not too slow. I'm, you know, YouTubers, really good players of the game will be watching this going, oh, he only down on 137. It's where my skill set is. I feel comfortable. Um, around here, yes, it looked stupidly um, biased as I was two seconds quicker than my second placed um, uh, opposition, as in Lewis Hamilton. But I feel comfortable. I feel challenged. And yes, I will find harder races in the season than this one that we're going about to do. And the Bahrain Grand Prix is probably my favorite track that I love to perform at. I, I love this track. Um, I want this to start. And look at that. I am on pole position. I have not even seen that sort of clip regards to myself being on the footage and the start up of that. So I was very excited at this point and just soaking it in and Oh gosh, I can only try my best. 
And yeah, I, I was very, very excited at this point and just soaking all the graphics of the game, which is so smooth, it's lovely and looks seeing me there on the front row and in pole position. So yeah, I was thinking I'm under pressure, I'm going into this with the feeling of, oh, I've got to get on the podium. So we'll see what happens. And just obviously looking at the rest of the grid here, uh, Gutierrez, who's last, Ericsson, Palmer, uh, Arianto, Rilline. So there we go. And here we are. Here we go. So here we go, the start, and the lights are going on. And I hate to say it, but I do fluff my lines uh, good and proper, and I lose ground into the first corner. To Hamilton and you can now see Hamilton I'm trying to outbreak him he's got the inside corner I'm reluctant to fully turn because I I think Verstappen or um, what's his face <laughs> Rosberg was there and Rosberg is now there in third and I'm thinking damn I've lost this lead how can I pull this back but I really tuck behind Hamilton I try and push him uh, through this section of the track um, I'm still quietly annoyed at myself at this point um, with regards to uh, if I knock up that start. I probably won't have a better chance of winning an F1 race in the career mode with Renault at the, no disrespect to Renault, but at the start of my career with all the upgrades and um, I'm working towards a better engine upgrade for the next Grand Prix in China. So, um, as you can tell, I'm hanging on um, to the back of Hamilton, and this will be edited, so I'm not going to try and bore you to death with regards to lap upon lap, because as you can tell, there is 14 laps of this race, and we are going to whittle it down and edit down to the best bit. But I believe that we're going um, smoothly to lap two or three, then I, I will take you um, to a further lap ahead um, so yes this is this is, and I honestly thought I had him there but I yielded because I didn't want to crash this um, early and oh yes I do end up going not only in first place but setting the early pace as well going purple um, I am a little bit reserved and scared of losing the car um, at this point Hamilton and Rosberg are right behind me and um, in fact they both passed me as I speak on the commentary and I could not believe what was going on. Um, I have got a prime seat here seeing the two Mercedes um, playing out that desert duel that they had most famously and I couldn't believe what I was witnessing and I fell back to third place, which then I was really, really scared, thinking, oh my gosh, I'm losing, it's only lap two, and I'm already third, and Raikkonen is breathing on my neck. Um, I'm now trying so hard to keep a pace with the two Mercedes, and I nearly go in the back of Hamilton, which was ridiculous, that was so close, and just by looking back on this race, I couldn't believe how close I was to the back of Hamilton's car. Um, I felt I was fast in places. You could probably see that I was braking too respectively. I had the pace rolling. It was just trying to position the car in its correct position. And I could not believe my luck thinking, oh, I'm third. I'm now hanging by a thread for this podium and it's only lap two. I have to stay where I am. I had a little look again like I did on my first lap and I thought, no, I better better stay sensible, I better get this car intact in and keep it intact. Um, the Renault guys must think, oh my gosh, we're third place, I can't believe this. Um, but the pace is not too bad, you can see Hamilton having a look and darting back in. Um, Rosberg leading the race, my goodness me, so he had a really good couple of laps there. Um, but yes, I'm trying to wheel in the uh, the two silver arrows. I do have a look inside, but no, I don't have enough pace. Um, and I believe this is the most scariest part of them all. I have an incident. I go in the back of Hamilton, I lose the car, and I drop to fourth. I'm now thinking this 
seriously cannot be happening. I started this race on pole, I now find myself fourth behind Raikkonen. I cannot believe it. So I really got my head down now realising the problem. I've got DRS, the DRS is enabled and that's it. Goodbye Raikkonen, I will have third place back, thank you very much. I do go wide thinking he was going to cut me inside but no, I positioned the car very well and onward we go to lap 5. Nicely done there. So, we are still behind Hamilton, we're still behind Rosberg. At this point, Raikkonen is a fair little way, I think it's a 2-3 to three second gap behind me. We are now chasing down the two Mercedes thinking when on earth are they going in, are they going in, can I stay out, all this is going through my mind thinking you know what I've got to hang on to at least third because I've never seen myself on this podium, it's worrying, it's worrying for me right now and thinking oh, don't, please don't, don't let me lose out on the, the pit stops, please don't. So there that's another prime example the nerves are setting in my racing line becomes a little bit weaker back there was a great example i'm overthinking yet again i'm getting in a bit of a tiz was thinking come on come on come on we've got to hang on to this and i believe yes i do come in now i follow hamilton in i believe rosberg has stayed out Oh, this and when every time I don't know why when I go into and have and let me just get my words correct when I go into a pit stop I get ridiculously nervous and thinking my gosh what is going on Hamilton chooses the mediums I go on softs and I have another hair raising problem here I decide to go in the back of Hamilton thinking what have I done Seriously, do you want to end up on the podium or what? I'm chucking this race away. I'm now 15 behind Hamilton, which is on the medium tyre. I'm thinking that, you know what, I'm going to try and get this soft to the end. I'm on the quick tyre. I'm trying to follow Hamilton through. Verline is Verline being in, in my way at the moment. I'm thinking, no, be patient. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Let's try and get this car as... You know, try and keep the car in one piece. I do overreact sometimes. Nice pass there, clean pass. He must have got the, um, no, yeah, he wouldn't have got the blue flag. We were racing. He just hasn't come in. And then I'm seeing Hamilton get away. I'm saying, no, come on, come on, come on. We've got to hang on. So Hamilton at the moment is my guide back to the front line. I'm obviously, yes, it says 14th, but I'm saying to myself, you know what, other cars have got to yet pit. So this will be achievable I can get up to the front again so I've just got to be quiet I've got to be patient I've got to get my head down I'm again overthinking my racing line as discussed before is all over the shop I'm losing ground on Hamilton now there's a pocket of space vacated there I'm now thinking right if anyone's gone in the pit lane now and stopped I've now given them a, uh, a position but obviously I keep hold of Hamilton we're on lap 7 and it is becoming quite entertaining I now get uh, I go purple and get the jump on Hamilton get the jump on Harry Anto and behind my teammate uh, Julian Palmer and thinking oh we better not crash and clump each other and I nearly create that I get a warning for exceeding track limits um, I was nearly pissed off with myself regards to if I ever if I did get a stop and go penalty I'll be furious I go purple on that lap really setting the pace and that was far too close for comfort I nearly clobbered in my teammate very very hard and I would have been furious if I lost a, uh, a wheel at that speed that was stupid by me and should have allowed him a lot more space than that um, Palmer is hopefully got my back and I'm hoping go on Palmer just keep it Hamilton behind as I had the jump on him. We're hunting down Gutierrez. I go purple in that sector. I'm now homing in the skills. I'm thinking, you know what, this is the strongest track. It's lap eight. I've got a few laps left to correct this. Um, I'm now 
giving chase. I know, and I keep telling, there must be individuals in front that have left uh, the pit stop window um, later on in the race. So I'm hoping that that is the case. I'm hunting down Gutierrez. I'm in eighth. I'm now hoping I'd better get this podium. I'd better get this podium. I'm, I'm practically every lap that goes by, I'm telling myself, I hope this is just a, a blip. I'm now thinking, oh gosh, I hope I don't come forth. If I come forth, I will have a right tantrum. This is the best chance I'll ever get to get on the podium. So Hamilton is now behind, as you can see, on the medium, so you know that Hamilton can push the bloody tyre to its maximum's wealth. I'm now thinking, oh no, Hamilton's behind me, what to do? So Hamilton's now using me as the gauge to come back. Obviously there's people in the pit. We leapfrog back into fifth. Our teammates in the pit. I have a horrid line into the first corner. Gutierrez thinking, gosh, what's this bumblebee of a car behind me doing? Um, I'm chasing down Gutierrez. I know I'm fast. I love this track. I'm just reeling them in very, very slowly at the moment. Trying to concentrate that I have to calm down. Um, I go purple in the first sector. I'm reeling them in, realizing that, come on, this is on now. This is on. Gutierrez, it's not stopped. This is, this is too far forward. No disrespect to Gutierrez, but now passing Gutierrez and seeing Rosberg in third and I'm going hello we're on here we are on for a podium if I can get my act together so now we're now hoping to see the silver arrow of Rosberg and seeing if we can actually reel him in Rosberg obviously takes Carlos Sainz giving us Sainz to chase for third now I'm thinking surely Sainz has got to go in to the pits it's his lap nine if he hasn't gone in he might have started on soft, I'm not too sure. Um, but he needs to come in thinking this is this is this is, has to happen. So I'm naturally thinking I'll get a podium place back at least. Minimal third. Minimal. So I'm now intrigued to see what is happening on this straight. I'm hoping that they're coming in and I believe they do. They are yes, Rosberg is now in the lead. I jumped science and Perez in the pit to take second place and I'm taking four laps I've got four laps now to try and hunt down Rosberg I've at least got this now I'm, I've got it I've got it so last lap Fernando Alonso has retired I have hung on to second place Hamilton is fighting with Rosberg for third I'm now thinking crikey I've got a bit of leeway I've got Hamilton and Rosberg if I was Hamilton I'd be pissed right now really pissed or you know the start on me and then Rosberg and then finding himself fighting and scrapping for third but here we go the last lap I'm thinking come on let's get this checkered flag I cannot believe it I'm going to be at least on the podium yes a little bit disappointed that I'm not winning the race I had a prime position to win the race but I'm screaming inside thinking I'm surely got this now I've got the podium that I've been longingly seeking on F1 2016 I've not witnessed it so I'm rolling around these corners very very oddly as you can tell there oh, what was I thinking I'm more thinking about the podium I'm going all over the shop thinking I can't believe this is actually happening lap 14 I've held the nerve I'm going around the final few bends I know there's not long to go more or less, Rosberg has got this. He's too far in front to challenge for the win. Um, I'm now literally coming in and feeling so good at this point, thinking, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. And I will pause because I'm going to enjoy this with you. Fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. Anthony, 
What do you think made the difference here? Well, I'd, I'd say it's just raw pace, plain and simple. I mean, we could sit here and talk about strategy all day, the overtaking, looking after the tyres. But at the end of it all, if you want to win, you need a package that's got the speed over everyone else. And that's exactly what they had today. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley after another excellent Grand Prix. Wow, how awesome was that? That was fantastic. I never saw the cutscenes, but yes, I hung on to the second place and that was fantastic. So I can firmly tick that box off of getting that podium. So there are the race results. I can't believe it. I still can't. I enjoyed that thoroughly and I hope you did too. So there is the race result. Um, Lewis Houghton, I'd be furious with that. Um, right, driver standings uh, as follows. Please feel free to subscribe, like and follow myself and I will be hopefully uploading the next video and that will be the Chinese Grand Prix.